for thwarting his wishes, he revoked his edict, seized all who had not yet fed, and sold them for slaves. What happened to the children? What happened to the children? What became of the children of these rebellious Jews that refused to embrace the Roman religion? What became of the children of the Jews that sacrificed their lives and in some cases their children to make a stand for the laws, statutes, and commandments and their beliefs in the Most High? What became of those children? So in order to answer this question, we need to look no further than the ones who enslaved the children themselves. But we first need to understand that the Jews of Spain and Portugal claim their descent from the tribe of Judah. As the following reference reads, it says, the Spanish and the Portuguese Jews claim their descent from the tribe of Judah. And with that in mind, the slavers who took the children and carried the children to the west coast of Africa, name the place that they sent the children after the children. On the west coast of Africa, the Portuguese slavers named the slave coast the kingdom of Judah. And the next reference also confirms that the children that were taken to the west coast of Africa resided in the kingdom of Judah. As the following quote reads, it reads, Wida or Judah or a Judah is a city old, frequented since the 16th century by the Portuguese slavers who gave it its name. Its inhabitants were said to be Judaic, and they were indeed considered as a remnant of the scattered tribes of Israel. And the next quote reads, East of the Great Popo begins the Dahomey territory, guarded by the important town of Gliwich, known to Europeans by various names of Fida, Huweda, Wida, Wida. The old writers called it Judah, and its inhabitants were said to be Jews, while the neighboring river, Alala, whose real name was Ephraim, during the flourishing days of the slave coast, from 16 to 18,000 were annually transported from a Judah. As the Portuguese called this place. All right, so let's do a brief recap of what we've learned so far, we learned that the Portuguese shipped the children of the rebellious house of Judah or the tribe of Judah who refused to embrace the Roman religion. These children were sent or shipped to the west coast of Africa in great numbers. We also learned that the Portuguese named the place that they sent the children of the house of or tribe of Judah to, these Portuguese named the place after the children. They named the place the kingdom of Judah. 
And we also learn that these children were raised to be Christians and to be slaves.